Lucien Levy Brule, Quid de Deo Seneca Sainsrit, Episode 7. Quaianthes noctu aquam e puteo victus quaerendi, causa sole bat hardridre at Marcus Antoninus, ad teneris, ad id informatus erdrat ut orbem terdrardrum regeret. The author continues contrasting the state of philosophy before and after Augustus. Cleanthes, by night, aquam e puteo, water from a well, victus quaerendi causa, was accustomed to drink. So lebat is a third singular, imperfect, indicative active, from the second conjugation verb soleo, solere, which means to be in the custom of doing something, to be in the habit, often you'll see the archaic English word want, to be want to do something. So, Cleanthes was in the habit of drinking water from a well at night. And why did he do this? We have causa here, with the preceding genitive, causa, used like a preposition, victus quaerendi. Quaerendi is a gerundive from the third conjugation verb quairo, quairera, to seek, to look for, etc. He did this for the sake of sustenance, nourishment, the life principle, finding it. That is, for the sake of the life principle to be found, put quite awkwardly, but we might say he did this for the sake of getting nourishment. Ought, but Marcus Antoninus, Mark Antony, on the other hand, who was also a Stoic philosopher, so we have this Stoic philosopher, and we have this Stoic philosopher. But Mark Antony, on the other hand, a teneris, from his earliest, most tender times, that is, from very early in his life, ad id, for this purpose, had been equipped, had been shaped, fashioned, formed for this one thing, namely, ut orbem terdrardrum regeret, that he might rule the world, the circle of the lands, the world. Regeret is a third singular, imperfect, subjunctive, and active from the third conjugation verb rego, regere, like so. Its object is orbem. And this entire clause, ut through regeret, is in apposition to id. Informatus erat pluperfect. So we see this contrast. Two Stoic philosophers. Cleanthes engages in this unusual practice, this nighttime experiment of drinking water from a well. Mark Antony, by contrast, had been formed or shaped from his earliest years to this one purpose, to rule the world. And this is a picture of a bust of Cleanthes, circa 330 to 230 B.C., the successor of Zeno in the Stoa.